Hey everyone, I'm Sarah and this is Courageous Color and today I am really excited to talk to you about tertiary colors. So what in the world is a tertiary color? Well, it's a color that results when you mix a primary color with a secondary color that includes that primary color. So for instance, if you mix yellow with orange. So these uh, colors, tertiary colors, make the color wheel way more interesting because they add a color in between each primary and secondary color, which you can see by looking at what I like to call the interesting color wheel. Let's take a look at all the different tertiary colors and make sure to comment down below. Tell me which one is your favorite. Here we have tangerine, lime, fire, plum, ocean, and berry. Now that you know all the tertiary colors, let me show you how to mix them. First, we'll start with the tertiary colors that are made from yellow. Now, if we mix orange with two parts yellow, we will make tangerine, which is a tertiary color. So we're gonna start with two parts yellow and one part red to make the orange. Then, after we mix this up, we'll add two parts yellow again to get our tangerine color our tertiary color. Likewise, if we mix two parts yellow with green, we'll get lime, which is another tertiary color. So we'll start with two parts of yellow and one equal part of blue. Now, if you don't know what equal parts are, then go back to episode one and review that so you can understand it a little bit better. Once we have the green, we'll add another two equal parts of yellow and then that will result in lime which is another tertiary color. Next up we have the tertiary colors that are made using red. This time we're gonna start with orange again which is two parts yellow and one part red. However after we mix these two colors to make orange we're going to add another two parts of red. And this will give us the beautiful fire color that sits right between red and orange on the interesting color wheel. Now the next tertiary color that's made using red is mixed with purple. And so we start with two parts blue and one part red, and we mix that up to get purple. And then once we have purple, we will mix in two more equal parts of red so that we get the plum color that sits between purple and red on the interesting color wheel. Last but not least, we have the tertiary colors that are made using blue. So let's start again with green, which is two equal parts of yellow and one equal part of blue. Now, once we have green, similar to the other colors, we'll mix in two equal parts of the primary color, which in this case is blue and that will give us the tertiary color that looks like the ocean, so like a teal color. For our last mixture, we'll start again with purple, which is two parts blue and one part red. And then once we have purple, we'll mix in two equal parts of blue to get a really dark berry color that sits between purple and blue on the interesting color wheel. Today in episode six of the basics of color mixing, we covered tertiary colors. And so coming up in this series, we're gonna talk about what happens when you mix the contrasting colors. And we're gonna talk about color values and why they are important in your art and in your painting or any color mixing. So you might be wondering why I have this butterfly taped to my computer screen today. And I just wanted to show you that when you paint with tertiary colors, you know, these are all the ones that we made in the videos today, and uh, I think they came out really cool. And I have a video of how I painted this, and I actually painted it with a fork and not a paintbrush. So check that out. It's linked down below. I just want to say thank you for watching until the end of the video. Uh, thanks for all the thumbs up and comments. Uh, and thank you especially to those who subscribe. You guys let me know that you want to continue to see fun and interesting art videos. And that's what I love to do. Also, feel free to make suggestions uh, in the comments. You guys are a totally cool audience and I'd be happy to answer questions or um, help you with any little artsy things that you might be struggling with. So 
Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.